Happy Monday, everybody. I hope you all enjoyed your wonderful weekend. Uh, let's be, go ahead and begin this um, flag racing with Strive and Pledge of Allegiance. Hi, it's me, Ava Cherry, and today is the V in Strive. Value school rules, your heritage, and personal responsibility. Can I ask you a question? Do you like getting in trouble? If you're like most students, your answer is no. Nobody likes getting in trouble. It's scary and embarrassing. When you're on your way to the office, your stomach gets all queasy. Because you're in the office, you miss a bunch of work, and then you're behind. And when you come back, all your classmates are staring at you. It's the worst. You want to avoid trouble as much as you can. And to avoid trouble, you have to follow these three things. Value school rules, your heritage, and personal responsibilities. You value school rules because they're there to protect you and others. And you have to follow them, whether you like them or not. Your heritage, because it's always important to remember where you come from. You have to appreciate your history and respect others. And last but not least, your personal responsibilities. Whether you're in fifth grade, like me, or all the way down to JK, or anywhere in the middle, you have some personal responsibilities, like charging your iPad, keeping track of it, and getting all your assignments done. Those are some responsibilities. You may have others, and you may not have others. If you follow those three things, I know you will stay out of trouble as much as you can. I know it. And now, without further ado, let's get on with Strive. Seek always to do your best, treat people and property with respect, revere the truth, invest in your future, value school rules, your heritage and personal responsibilities, enrich the world for all. Bye everybody. Before I do the Pledge of Allegiance, I would just like to thank everyone who voted for me. Being the Francis Parker Lower School president has been my dream ever since I came to this school. Now, thanks to you guys, my Parker dream has come true. I'd first like to thank Miss Gray. You've been so helpful and kind and really just helped me kind of work my way through being president. Second, I want to thank Ava Cherry. She has just been such an amazing partner. I loved working with her. She just is so fun to work with and I'm gonna really miss being president with you. Third, I want to thank all of you guys because I wouldn't have been able to do this without you. All right, make sure your right hand is over your heart. For the very last time, let's all say the Pledge of Allegiance together. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thanks everyone, I'm gonna miss this so much. Have a fantastic week. Thank you, Ava and Ava, we're gonna miss you. Uh, they've been wonderful co-presidents this first trimester. This is their last week, so if you are in student council, um, this is the final week of the trimester. So on Tuesday, there's going to be a pizza party for those people that have been in student council this trimester at, on Tuesday at 1130 in the courtyard. So um, and instead of eating your lunch in your classroom at 1130, please come to the courtyard where you can enjoy some pizza between 1130 and 1145. Our new trimester two student council will get to uh, run next week, the week that we after break. So beginning on the 30th, um, you'll have that week to come up with your speeches and um, all of that. And we'll, we'll, we'll run the following week for president. So we'll be working on that over break. Um, next, we have the birthday cheer. Uh, this is Mrs. Robinson. Hi, everybody. Time for a birthday cheer. Actually, it's time for a rootin' tootin' roundup, remember? So, we're going to start by riding our horses, right? We'll ride them and then I'll count to three and you're gonna twirl your lasso and you're gonna say yee-haw. So if you have a birthday this week, stand up, get ready. Ready, everybody? Start to ride your horses. Ba -da -dum, ba -da -dum, ba -da -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum. One, two, three. Yeehaw! Happy birthday, birthday people! 
Thank you, Ms. Robinson. Uh, this week, we actually have today, Ava Cherry. It's her birthday today, so be sure to wish her a happy birthday. Also celebrating this week and the week of break is Wiley Warren, Annabelle Vano, Natalie Burakoff, Rachel Marrera, Nora Vanderlee, Lyric Nolan, and Olivia. Oh, no, not, not her, sorry. <laughs> and then for, um, also over break, we have Aditi Singh, Arya Singh, Claire Mackley, Sienna Botero, Leo Denning, Taj Khoury, Matthew Robinson, and Pierce, Pierce Robinson are actually on the same day as me, November 29th. So my faculty, my birthday is over the break as well. Other faculty birthdays celebrating this week, Miss Scott, Miss West, Matt, Nurse Maggie, uh, Mrs. Robinson, Miss Rosie, so make sure you say happy birthday to her. She's celebrating over, over the break. And um, Mr. Zavala Shaparo and me on the 29th. So um, happy birthday to all of you over the next few weeks. Now we'll have our Spanish and Mandarin sentence of the week. The phrase of the week is in honor of Thanksgiving, November 26th. We give thanks for the good things in life. Repeat on in Espanol. Damos gracias. Por la bueno. En la vida. Gracias. Gracias. We have worship Elisa. The sentence of the week is, Happy Thanksgiving. Please repeat after me. Gan un jie. Kwai le. When I say xie xie, please say buka chi. Xie xie. Buka chi and de nada. Thank you. Thank you both. So a couple of announcements. We have um, superhero tiles. So don't miss the opportunity to turn your students' artwork into a personal keepsake, perfect for the holiday gifts, all while supporting Parker Student Financial Assistance. When students create hero-themed artwork for our tile wall, their artwork may also be put on gift holiday gifts, such as totes, coasters, and even face masks. For home delivery in time for the holidays, submit your tile art and, and order by Monday, November 23rd. If you have any questions, you can contact the gala chairs, Julie Gary and Michelle Rogers at pa-galachair at francisparker.org. So this Thursday, we're hosting our first ever virtual Grandparents' Day. We will miss the opportunity to host all the grandparents in the Gillingham Courtyard, but we will get to virtually see more grandparents than ever before. The program will include photos, interviews, and videos of what's happening at the lower school. So we're looking forward to that. This Friday, we're gonna have an all school dress down day. So we'll look forward to that as well. And now we're going to hear from Ms. Bellingham. She just needs to unmute herself. So last week I worked with Ms. Sinnott's fourth grade class to create Thanksgiving list poems using a beautiful mentor text from the book Out of the Dust by Karen Hess. And here is class 4SB's Thanksgiving list. Mommy, her warm hugs, the funny things she says when half asleep. Vanessa, her cute haircut, her little voice, the nice words she says. Daddy, his funny voice when we come home, his nice hugs, his black square glasses. Books, the pictures that flow through your mind and let your imagination run wild. Jumping on our trampoline with Tom throwing me through the air, riding bikes through rocky trails and through the streets of SDSU. My mom's sweet smile and laugh. My sister Isabel and her goofing around. My sister Elena hanging out with her is always fun. My dad and his jokes. My dog Lola and her cute face. My brother playing with me, helping me. My dad getting up and making breakfast, taking me to school. My old worn out baseball glove still working. Some nice cold weather after some hot weather. The leaves starting to turn yellow, brown, orange. Indy, my dog, who has lots of happiness inside her, her licks that remind me when she was a baby. Jake, Mila, and Mittens, their soft fur rubbing on my leg. Hot cocoa running down my throat. Hot Thanksgiving turkey steaming on my plate. 
My mom who reads wonder every evening with her soft voice. My dad whose chuckle makes me laugh. Hudson, my brother who I build Legos with every morning. The neon sunset, my sister playing with me and my parents watching us run around, curling up with a book, painting a picture, drinking hot chocolate, the sounds of the birds chirping, the leaves rustling, cutting the cake at my birthday, getting into my warm bed at night and falling asleep to all these memories. Wow. So thank you to the fourth graders in Miss Innitz class for these beautiful words and gratitudes. And I encourage all of you to make your own Thanksgiving lists, especially as Thanksgiving approaches. But any day of the year can inspire you to give thanks for the meaningful people and experiences and memories that make up your life and that make you feel grateful and hopeful and happy. Thank you, Miss Bellingham. Now we have one more um, video to share from Miss Scott. That was a beautiful poem for us. I loved it. So in honor of Native American Heritage Month, this week we're watching a video about a 12 year old who loves to dance and is carrying the powwow tradition in her own community. Meet Florence Osawanik, also known by her spirit name as Two Rainbow Mist Woman. Ani, Nijo Sing Napia Kyo Kwed Dishnikas, Wabashashi Dodem. We clem Kong Minadoma Sing Nonjaba. Hastings Megwadida. I started attending Pabos when I was a baby. I started dancing when I learned how to walk. I learned from the Pabo Trail from watching the other dancers, and my mom taught me. Dance. My favorite thing about power dancing is being there with my friends and my family. Pao is an event that a native community holds to get together and like have a good time. <laughs> When we get there, I'm gonna get ready, and then my mom's gonna braid my hair. Braids are strong. It's a symbol of strength. The three strands mean the body and the mind and the spirit. Like the sweet grass, if you try and pull it apart, it won't break. And that's why my mom braids my hair. So this is the top part of my regalia. Some people call the regalias costumes. I remember one time someone went up to me and was like, oh, I like your costume. This is my breastplate. I guess I just told them like, it's not called a costume, it's called a regalia, because it's not Halloween. <laughs> Today I danced women's traditional. I remember I was jingled and then I just started like wanting to do traditional because I didn't see that much young traditional dancers when I was at the powwows. Traditional dance is very slow. The footwork represents the ground, which is Mother Earth. The fringes mean the water moving. Me and my mom walk around the Great Lakes so we could pray for the water because our water is polluted. And water is life. When I'm dancing, I'm dancing for the people who can't dance. My name is Florence. My spirit name is to a missed woman. I see myself dancing for the rest of my life. Thank you so much for sharing that. That was wonderful.